Hello, and what, what, are you, what are you doing? I don't know. Just what are you doing? Cables. You've had so much time to sort yourself out, Dan. Can you do your? Can you can you sort this out, please? Okay. Am I? How's my? I have, I have a clip. Actually, I can. This is cool. I can, I can use the laser. Hello, everyone. Hi. This is our uh, this is our work in progress face it studio, which we're going to use for the uh, closing half of the Deve development league. We have four matches with heroic today. I haven't uh, commentated a match of heroic. I don't think of you. I mean, if I haven't, you uh, haven't either. But I'm going to ask you anyway. Uh, I feel like well, I've watched them play at least, so that's there's that. There's that, but okay. I'm close to them. So, but now it's we been get a while since we've had a small, a mini studio. Yeah. I'm liking this. It's cool. It's well, this is kind of where things. It feels like it started. Yeah. Where's the grenade at, though? That's weird, isn't it? Where is the grenade? Producer Patrick, where the nade at? Yeah, we have producer Patrick today. Produce producer Reese. <laughs> First there Patrice. was producer Reese. Now there's producer Patrick and producer Reese, and therefore there is Patrice. <laughs> 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 Woo! Okay, oh, right. Well, uh, I don't know if you can hear that, but we're checking the groups now. They probably can't because I think these microphones, they're, they're very good at only taking audio in directly from our face. Okay, so this is a leaderboard, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I can count, Dan. Good job. Over to you. It's it's pretty amazing, actually, some of the names in here. Like, oh, for example... Oh, I thought you meant counting. For example, <coughs> to see Godsent, obviously, in this, in this uh, lineup of teams, is definitely very intimidating for a lot of the other teams. Uh, but uh, Heroic are one of the upcomers that have been surprising a lot. It's always nice to see Modi uh, doing stuff. I mean, he's he always had that notorious reputation for like jumping around on those different teams, never quite finding a home. So yeah, he's very is a home for him. very. Uh, he likes to drive his drive his points home when he has a point to make. Dan, he's what a is point, point driver. Well, if he thinks that someone's underperforming, you know, he's going to roast them basically. Oh, okay, right. You know, when he uh, departed from so the like old Fnatic, like with days he, or something said that uh, you know he was very critical of his teammates and he went on to be the best team in the world of course yeah um which is you know things happen but uh yeah it's good to see him he's having just very some passionate. success let's go with that he is so we're gonna look at the schedule now says uh producer patrick god sent versus heroic god sent versus heroic gambit versus heroic gambit so, versus say say schedule heroic. again i say schedule yeah it's, that's weird yeah because but what I, but, why, but, would, why, would, why do you do that well you say but most people say failure right yeah. Instead of, but the a, the I is before the L. So why do you say failure when it's failure? Failure. Uh, failure. Well, I don't you know. See, you just said it. Did I? Yeah. It's getting weird. Most people will say failure, but it's not F A L I U R E. It's F A I L. It's fail. Otherwise, you'd say failure, wouldn't you? Why do you go from fail to failure? You see, I, have you, I have nothing to add to this. You got nothing for me. I got nothing to add to this. Bruv. All right. Got nothing for me with your failure. Where are we need we need some props. I like our, we have a <laughs> where's the where's the grenade? We still don't have the grenade. I have. Um, I couldn't find it. I I I just I. I have a joystick. Well, there we go. This is one that, of my joysticks. Work. Because um. Does, it, does this actually work though? Of course does it works. Why would I have short? a joystick that doesn't work? I like how it has a see-through bottom, so you can see. Check the, this out. Yeah. I won this in a raffle for ten pounds, <laughs> but it's worth about four hundred pounds. Really? Yeah. Why is it worth so much? Because the guy vacuum makes them. This was made. This was actually made for a guy. It, it was originally completely transparent, and um, he was <laughs> building it for somebody who wanted to paint painted white, basically. Why? Why was that even just on the floor there? Because I Trust brought it. I brought it here. I brought it here to play, to play some Street Fighter, but then stick. it never happened. So now I need to take it home. Yeah, nice. it's pretty cool though. Yeah, I like it. We're waiting for the match to start. So meanwhile, we're just going to talk about stuff. Because we have, I feel like we haven't been able to do this for ages. Yeah, I mean, we haven't. I mean, our season's been it's, done for a while. It's it's a this is a an int, an int, more an int, a more of an intimate experience. I think having just like the desk that we can have stuff on. Yeah, which is nice. One thing, one thing the we missed. Everything slid, slid, slid off of it. One thing we missed with our our old studio with a big long table <coughs> was that it wasn't a flat table, so we couldn't put things on the table. We tried though. It wasn't for lack of trying. We did well, try. Well, we managed to hook the grenade you, onto that. You took. Um, one of our employees is Obama statue mm -hmm. and put and it on there. And, and then I it. broke it. <laughs> then you proceeded to break it. Yeah. Yeah. And then I bought a replacement one and someone else broke it. Yeah. Do you hear that? <laughs> what is that? I think uh, producer Mike is doing stuff. Producer Reese, producer Patrick, producer Mice. It, Mice? We're, we're expanding. We have three producer producers Mice. now. It's quite, quite interesting. Yeah, we, it is. They're all faceless. No one knows what they look like. Well, they don't. They know what producer mm. Mike looks like because he had that video where he's oh like, "Oh yeah, he's stoned." I'm very serious, yeah, and 
you should join the caster competition. <laughs> Boom. There's a kind of a dead look in his eyes. Yeah. In that video. Yeah. 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 So it was unsettling. Yeah. Because also it was there's no relief from from those that cold dead stare. <laughs> two, <laughs> two minutes. Yeah. <laughs> two minutes. Yeah. That was an, in, an interesting video. Four minutes. He's four minutes. That's pain. That's a painful yeah. video. Indeed. Well, people still signed up to it, which was wonderful. Thank God. <laughs> <laughs> We're into the game, Dad. Nice. Game one, Heroic nice. versus God Sense. This will be fun. It appears we are on train. We are indeed. Freeze. I believe that's that's Freeze, isn't it? Yes. Yeah. Freeze, Glaive, Snappy, Vald. Is it Vald or Valde? I say Valde. There's a, there's a character in Soul Calibur in. called Voldo. In Just out of interest. Okay, well... It's like we're going to see a bit of strats here. Plus, uh, a bit of strats. A bit of strats. A little bit of strats. Please, please bit. continue with this commentary then. I, I, I'm glad that you stopped me there so that <laughs> I could not further embarrass myself. A but bit of strats. Nice little trade outside just to try to pull rotation away from the close positions on the B-bomb side itself so they can get a pop down. And now, close to charging up the yard. Couple kills already. So, all is well. Very well. Well, if, you know, if you're God sent or a God sent supporter at least. Well, I mean, technically, half, half is well and half is terrible. Yeah. Okay. So, so I didn't hear a bomb you're, ticking. You're misrepresenting um, the situation. Snappy is uh, 16 HP. He doesn't have a kit though. Okay, now I can hear it more. Is the glass full, half full or half empty then? Um, I guess that's half full. You know what a GG answer is? What that is? a glass is at 50% capacity. <laughs> <laughs> that's I what you say I if you're a boss. I guess so. All right, I'll, I'll remember that. And everyone at home has to remember that as well. The glass is at 50% capacity. You should make a video get to, to uh, you know, James's tips on how to be a boss. It's not a bad idea. Maybe you, could wear, you could wear that, uh, that, that suit. What suit? That you were wearing in that video, that promo. What, oh, that which one. promo was it? It was a face it league. I uh, face it one. Um, yeah. I need to go to the gym before I put that on again. Has there been, have you made gains? The wrong kind of gains. All the wrong kind of gains. All right, well, we've got uh, <laughs> God Sent, of course, playing their anti force by Heroic actually offering to spend everything apart from Modi and Freeze. Freeze, of course, will be dedicated to Orpa. And I like to see this. I, I like to see when teams just keep it simple. They just go outside, got a nice spread of players, can use those long avenues of attack. It's like playing Deathmatch until you lose two of your players and it becomes very uncomfortable. Oh, flash of 6 HP, JW is 21. Now we've got problems. Again, the main thing is here that, uh, oh, wow, problems. Even more problems. Crims, the best the best situation for him is that uh, the guns are far away because of the ranges he mentioned. That's the, that's the important thing for him at this moment in time. You can see Heroic setting up for a crossfire now with Mordi moving over towards Connector. And now, now the other main problem is uh, the Deagle, the meat shots from this Deagle. Crims is, is he trying to fake? Perhaps trying to bait them to pick up these weapons. We'll see. Oh, Freeze will overextend. Crim's one of the good people that you want in this kind of situation. Looking for the second play now. 40 seconds left. And now, Modi's a problem man here because he's the one with the Deagle. Two shots. And uh, Crim's will be done. Although, if he hits him with the Kevlar, it will, it will require three shots because he'll do about 96 damage. Okay, Modi's been spotted now. 20 seconds on the clock. And he has an AK in hand. Has Crim spotted him? He's looking away now. Trying to fake, but now he's running out of opportunity to fake. Out comes Modi, he snaps his face off! That is a problem round for the uh, Swedish side. Yeah, very awkward. Just and pistols here and there. they got to force it up now. Uh, it is, I, I guess, a bit more comfortable for the T's to force up in this situation than it feels on the other side, but that's just, you never just want that to happen. Because not only did, did that happen, but Freeze was one of the guys that got three kills. He had invested nothing there. He was saving for an AWP, which he will have now. So. I mean, this can still work out okay for Godson if they're able to, even if they lose the round, if they're able to do a lot of damage, of course, they're still you know, far from you know, being in a position where they don't have many options. So let's see if they're able to do something here with a quick push, or will Modi be on top of things? He's got himself an AK-47, so it's a pretty good tool for the job. Freeze is also supporting him in the back lines with the AWP too, so this back. will be very hard for Godson, although they do have some nades to help them. I'm curious as to what they're... You see JW's in, in Ivy, but the rest of the team's over towards B. So I don't think they're faking towards B. I think he's going to be trying to flank people who rotate.
biding their time at the moment. Maybe waiting. Maybe they think heroic have uh, a timing for Molotovs, etc., to try and ruin things. No such Molly's coming in. Minute on the clock, and the execution will begin for Godsent. Still not moving. Molly being patient this entire time gets his bell run. Takes one play down, and he will be finished off by Flush. A man advantage. Now you see JW moving in the back, and he's picked up an M4, so perhaps he got a kill. Yeah, he did. He did indeed. And that's really problematic because that puts a, a clock on Heroic's retake. Because really, they can't waste time in going, you know, to go back to deal with JW. They have to just go for it. And it's taking too long. They're not able to get anything working. And another round where we see the team with the force by. Uh, well, uh, this time it's, it's a bit more handily won. So, very good job uh, by Godson in this situation. They're going to be able to steal away the AWP as well, which is very problematic for Heroic. <laughs> it's kind of. I mean, they're in a really bad position now. Much worse than Godsent were in the previous round. Yeah, especially when you're on the defense, let alone just the, the terrible economy. So let's see. The money's now all over the place, which is interesting for Heroic. Three players have chosen to force buy. Freeze and Modi both not. Perhaps they're going for double up nice. on the buy round. I don't know. Their next buy round, or, well, the buy round. We will find out so far. So, uh, well, one man down for both sides. We'll see if Glockson are going to have a repeat over towards the A-bomb site. JW's putting in work. He's going to get finished off. But now it is Glaive versus three. So again, and it's an expensive round for the side of the monies. And Glaive will get finished off. So uh, I'm curious to see what Heroic Spy Round is going to look like. And I do hope they have double ops in tow. You see Modi's on 4,900 already. And Freeze is on 37. So that's quite a lot of money onto Modi. I don't know that he spent anything, I don't recall, but uh, either way, he's got cash to splash in the coming rounds. And uh, he's actually leaving all, they're not going to buy, okay, he's bought Deagle. Other than that, they're not going to buy a single thing. Yeah, kind of sad really for Heroic to have a start like this, but, uh, and, and also God sent, you know, you, we, we, we will, I, well, I can't spit it out, James. Do you know we'll what? We'll get there, we're warming up, Dad, we're warming up. I know, it's, just, it's been a while. <laughs> we're warming up. All right, okay, here we go. You would expect God sent on paper to be the stronger team, but Heroic, I think, are one of the teams with the most upset potential at the moment that's playing. And they kind of popped out almost, you know, it feels like sort of out of nowhere, but of course the all those players have been around for ages, obviously. They Freeze Glaive, Snappy, Valde, Molly. I mean, they they've all been around in different teams and been playing at a high level, so it's no surprise that they're doing quite well. Uh, but and, and also, in many senses, it's kind of almost a domestic matchup. Of course, Heroic mostly Danish, apart from, from Modi, I think the, the sing singular Swede. Um, Double orb stand. Modi dropped it for Snappy. He's going to be the second orper. So smart decisions made. It's always nice to get double ops on the CT side of Crane. I think a big rest we saw a triple orp at some point against a force buyer, which can always get a little bit weird. Didn't on that occasion, though. Freeze off to a good start. Even better. JW goes down as well. No answer from Godset just yet. Valde on 7 HP. And there's a second orp coming into play. Ah, uh, there we go. Four kills. Only one more to find in Flusher. He can get one uh, consolation frag, but as soon as Flash is spotted there, Valde does not need to peek again because he's got 7 HP, so the rest of the team can do the job. Yeah, I, li I like that a lot actually. Valde just popping up there to try to get the information only, and then his teammates can adjust. So, Heroic, they, they win the round that they really needed to win, obviously, to get straight back in this, because they also invested so much, the double ops coming into play, and we'll see that continuing here. So it'll be interesting to see if Godson will opt to try to actually outpick them, if JW is going to be put in that position. But it does look like they're setting up grenades here, so we might just see, as a re response to the double ops, they're going to say, how about this smoke execute? How about you try to deal with that with your fancy double ops? SK has a nice smoke they put into main, which stops the connector peak from coming in, so it has to guess. And uh, the other side of the wall from where Snappy is, to the right, people can get there pretty quickly. Snappy trying to pre-fire, he almost would have, uh, well, he would have killed JW if he was maybe a few millimeters to one other side. Nice pop flash coming in from Valde, and he's going to reward himself with a kill. Two men down for Godsend side, trying to come and do what he can. Two men, spray down. I'm not sure if he saw the player on top of the uh, connector structure. But for, for the time being, it's three versus three, make that two. And now that's going to be hard for Pronex to plant the bomb with the man disadvantage. And he is more or less surrounded, and now he's dead. JW alone. These are very expensive rounds. War of attrition for both sides. Both orbs surviving for the time being from Heroic. Is Snappy watching the smoke? He is not. Now he's making noise, which JW will hear. And JW is an awkward angle, but the scope has been heard. Snappy will escape, and now... Got all wow. kinds of madness going on. It's getting funky. Snappy living up to his name. 
felt like JW had a distinct opportunity there. Interesting. So also interesting that Snappy had, like no one seemed to care about Snappy. Just like sitting in that corner, all the angles. And I mean, Snappy could have actually just won, like, won the round straight away because yeah, I think he had like two or three opportunities for shots that he didn't hit, and that he actually did not hit, uh, that he did take. Um, but of course, was able to do a very good job. And Godsent, that fast push outside, they're gonna have to work on some of those uh, smokes perhaps. We've got the moving towards B currently. And as usual, we've got, uh, I believe, Modi, he's the man who's up close, and he's got Freeze, who's in the back lines again in the with back. the support. So it should be, should be again a fairly solid hold. Freeze hasn't been in this position previously, but it w the smoke will go down. So to see if if the un if the uh, the change up there is actually going to help out heroic on the defense. But this time, Freeze has to do a lot because Moddy goes down straight away. Oh, that should have been two kills. The nade is going to do more damage, but not critical. There's a second kill to Snyder. Pronax goes down as well. The bomb's been planted, but need, they need more than that. There's a, there are a man down at the moment. JW coming in to win, but he's not going to be able to do that. Almost stereo frags on the B-bomb site between Snappy and Glaive, and they will survive again with three players. We'll find out what their money looks like soon enough. Four to four, back and forth game. Yeah, very, very back and forth, uh, forth right now, which is very cool to see. Of course, probably a bit, little bit nerve-wracking for both these teams. Th the starts were hilarious, just like you know, winning off of the, the four spies uh, the either, either side respectively, although the CTs they didn't fully force by when they won theirs. But uh, these double ops do appear to be paying off. We'll have to see if Godson are going to find a good solution for this. You would imagine that they would have a lot of cool tricks in their, in, up their sleeve, you know, even just simple uh, smoke set pieces like they one they attempted on the yard, although they weren't covering all the angles, which should be able to block off the division to allow them to get onto the bomb side, get the plant down, which should then force the ops to, to move closer and into harder spots to, to actually convert the ops on. So uh, interesting that Godson are having a bit of a struggle at the moment, but it is surely a matter of time. Well, let's not forget they're a new team. And they've got seven maps to to organize. That's true. And that's 14 halves. That is very true. So uh, <laughs> a lot of work to be done. Modi holding the lower ground now, keeping them surprised. Freeze with two for one. Collateral damage. Hello, goodbye. JW, last man standing now with an AK, a HG grenade, and full armor. It's an interesting time for Codsent because their new form, their new team, is formed at a time where there are lots of qualifiers for various uh, leagues and tournaments and such. So it's it's hard for them because again they have 14 halves to practice, and um, it's a horrible time with which to practice it because of how important the matches are for let's say the next until the end of the year, pretty much. Yeah, yeah, it's it's really rough. It's funny as well, just the general mix up of all these uh, these teams and players that we're seeing. I mean, the Swedish shuffle. It felt like that was actually it felt like that was kind of coming for a while, and. I I am very excited actually by both lineups. I think uh, I think in this current situation that JW is in, it'd be a pretty amazing if he's able to get some damage here. But you can see that this kind of perimeter that's been set up by Heroic is is pretty damn strong. Infalda will be able to take the fight here. Nice little off angle, but act, uh, there you go. We've got JW actually picking up the kill, and with two HP, he realizes that's probably all he's going to get. Doesn't want to die after time, and knows he can actually save what he has. So he's going to be going for that. So, so yeah, I have to say I am very excited um, by the new Fnatic lineup too, with Twist, with Twist playing, and you know, just just an ode to the old LGB. In a, you know, in some senses, you know, Dennis yeah. Twist, all of my stories, characters. I'm excited for both teams from next year. Yeah, pretty much. All right. So, once they've had some prep. <coughs> yeah, once they've had time to for the everything to settle, if you will, for the sediment at the base of you know. The sea. Are we doing this? Are we doing ge uh, geography here? Doing scuba diving references. Geology. I've injured my ear scuba diving. But more on that later. Schneider has an AK and no armor. I feel like he'd be better off with a Deagle. <coughs> giving that AK to someone else. But I mean, everyone's dead now, so it doesn't really matter. Flushes over towards the uh, pop dog position, as we like to call it. And everyone's dead. Over to you, Dan. What about your ear? Um, I'm trying to look up the name of what I think I have, what I believe my issue is. Is it cochlear instability? No. Okay. I tried. I th think... We'll come back to it later, Dan. There's a buy round for both sides. We've got five AKs <laughs> coming up. Are we going to see a fast round from them? They know there are orbs on the map. 
for Heroic. What is their play going to be? They're limited on grenades, they've got flashbangs, and they've got molotovs. Triple molotov, interesting. Well, it looks like they're going to play it slow. They spread out pretty much all over the place. they got players uh, towards B, towards Ali, and towards or Ivy, if you're, if you're that way inclined, and also, of course, towards Team Main. So trying to create openings just all over, this, all over the shop, and they don't really have much in the way of utility to work with. But they did have enough for some kind of a set piece, and they're just getting picked off here, going for these one-on-ones. Definitely favorable in in the uh, low respect towards the CTs, but still able to find some kills here, just because they are splitting up the defense in so many so many which ways. You likely won't expect to see a round like this a lot of the time from the T. So that is, I suppose, the strength of it that it does pull the players all over the place, so you can better isolate players or better isolate one-on-ones. And Schneider's actually going to steal away a bomb plant which is very interesting right now for Godsend. He has support with Flusher too, so right now Godsend are favored to win this round. There is, uh, well, Schneider's stuck between two players, however, and Freeze has been spotted. This is Glaive's time to shine. And now he's in a very sticky situation. I think he might know where Schneider is. Maybe he just about saw him. Is he making steps? He's got 13 HP, and now he will fall. Godsend back to winning ways. This will reset a loss bonus, so this is a tricky round for them. And look at the money on Heroic. They should have a better buy than Godsent in this situation. Unless Godsent can uh, juggle their drops so all their teammates can uh, buy their respective grenades. We'll see how well they can do that. You see JW is a little bit short, but with the AWP in his hands, you don't really want him spending time holding grenades in his hands instead. Pronex down to the Galil, so indeed Heroic will have a better buy. Straight back on the double orbs into the last third of the first half. More players over towards Ivy for Godsent in this situation. We've got Valve moving pretty close to the uh, the ladder room, the drop, the pop dog rather, sorry. I must have dropped off. Now Freeze is moving to Connector on B, but uh, there's action towards Ivy. Yeah, I mean, it does seem like Godson can just walk all over the place and sort of take these engagements. Very interesting, trying to use what maybe they believed is to be uh, is their you know superior skill. Maybe that's what they are, that's the approach they're going on, the angle that they're trying to exploit. Moddy will be exploiting Schneider as he's caught up the, the ladder there. So, be a tough situation. A on train. Very, very hard to retake. Oh, a little bit of there's a glitch in the matrix. And uh, still, it will be JW with the frag in the end. Just Moddy left now. And then mere 19 health. And their money must be, they, they must be pretty awful on money soon, soon surely. Heroic. They've had big buys. Got something been getting the damage in. We'll have to have a look in a moment. Can Moddy save this? Who is that? I think it's Flusher, who is who was near the ladder. He has since escaped. Very nicely done by Moddy there. Quick kill. Could have ended up quite badly, actually. Flusher will get him in the end regardless. So a little bit of extra damage there's always nice. But let's see how the money is looking now for Herrick. Okay, so they, they they do need to save one. So it's, it's starting to get to this position where Gosling could actually take the 9-6. Which, after that start, it's going to feel pretty good for them. And I feel like Heroic are a team you're always just going to be kind of worried about. Especially, as you mentioned, because Godsend don't have all the routine yet. Yeah, Heroic have been under the radar for a while. Apart from their team name being announced, but uh, definitely on the radar now with recent performances. Mori looking to pop some faces. Valde doing the same. Pronax is playing with fire, or playing with smoke rather. But it's smoke, there's fire. Fire from Valde, 5-7, to take that AK away. He's looking for more as well. Flash forces the T's back into main. And there's a nice crossfire. Nice work coming in there from uh, Valde. And he's got his teammate in for support, but he goes for the full spray and trying to repick straight back into that spray. Very nice spray control there, despite the uh, slight nerf to spray in general. And now Flusher is trying to get at least one kill for his team. Some problems, really, when it comes to playing against these, essentially, these eco rounds. It's just, it just seems to be very pervasive, but not just for Godson, but also for Heroic. They struggled in some of the rounds where they were up against mere pistols. And that's a shame. Godson, they could have had so much more. Flash is going to, again, just try to work on the damage here. It's going to be very difficult. And Godson, they're going to be reset. They, they, I don't think they have any money. There's no Kevlar on any of these Heroic players. But uh, Flush is running out of time to get anything done. Again, you see his the Flusher smarts there. Kills one player, goes for the uh, spray transfer to where he spotted the previous player in case of trade fragging situation. Very nice stuff. Look, is that a triple peak coming in from Heroic? 
Let's find out. I think it is. Box one, but uh, they're all there. Nice. That reminds like that. me of one time uh, the Renegade squad on Dust 2. They had players on short. They were on City side. They had players on short at City spawn and uh, elevator or, you know, from City spawn to long, basically. And they all lined up above each other in their respective positions. Right, so right. one player faced them. And I think he faced four CTs at the same That's time. That's brilliant. It was beautiful. I love yeah. that stuff. Anyway, two rounds left in this particular uh, half. Flusher, the only man, indeed, they are down on the money, is Dan. So opportunities for 9-6 have since passed one of these two teams, and that look pretty good for the other side. Heroic. Look at the Ooh. placement of oh. that. It's always going to spread. There's a, a similar situation to that in the, um, in the apartments of Inferno. To the right of the balcony, the little room, um, if you're on a T side, you can throw a Molotov that forces a CT into the corner and then it spreads and then it's too late and they die. No. Okay, well, it will be interesting to see whether Donald Johnson can keep that trend continuing of just being able to win with pistols. They have one rifle though and it will uh, claim one kill but Glaive is just locking this down, buying loads of time for his teammates <coughs> too. Has the bomb now, so no should be any more problems. Oh, that is... What I would call a problem though, and that's a potentially an AWP I think up for grabs there for either Schneider or Pronax. Schneider's going to grab that one as money makes his way around, but Flusher is expecting this. This is the thing right now, Godsent have a lot of ability to potentially catch these CTs off, but Modi will be the one to get the jump onto Flusher. Freeze, locking it down. Just Schneider left against three with 35 seconds. Ooh. Tagged, but not fragged. He has opportunity now, because he's carrying the bomb. And uh, he is not going to be able to take it over the line. Damage done though, maybe an overextension pushing through that smoke when they had some advantages, but I guess they didn't want the other side to have an opportunity to move towards CT behind that smoke and kind of pin to the site and cause problems for Heroic. Either way, they move into the last round. Two rounds to the good. Double Ops once more and full grenades, full defuse kits for Heroic. Whereas it is a ragtag buy for Godsent, lacking in grenades. And now it's Crim on the Galil rather than Pronax, as previously seen. That Molotov will be a pain. I think it was, I want to say it's Alu I sometimes see uh, on the T side of this map, trying to shoot through the wall into connector. It's either Alu or Mo from Gambit. I think it's actually Mo from Gambit. Maybe yeah, I think so. Yeah, but I know Mo does that. I think Guardian famously has, has claimed some lives in that manner too, but. The run and gun has commenced, and it will be Freeze picking up a couple kills there. On one HP, still alive actually with the orb, and he gets another one. That is fantastic work from Freeze. You can't really ask anything else of your orper. Yeah, you you know just survive against three guys who love running at you with AK 47s at close range. So I'm on one HP, why not? Good job to Freeze, leaving just Flusher. So the running, oh there, <laughs> there you go, gets well, the uh, the slam dunk. But now, uh, now it's going to be a tough one to find these remaining CTs. He has plenty of time to work with, though. And there is the first one. It's a free one, too. But uh, where on earth is Snappy? Yeah, 40 seconds. Well, Snappy's been spotted <laughs> now, and he might not be able to retreat. So he goes for the jaw because he knows Flash is going to chase. And uh, Godsent will steal away the last round in the first half to have a one-round deficit. So as you can see, uh, coaches are still allowed in ECS to, until the end of the year, at the very least. I'm not a fan of uh, organizers taking snap decisions with no prior warning uh, based on Valve rulings, which a lot of people have done and just banned coaches immediately. Uh, I, don't I don't think that's really fair for teams. So at the very least, we will allow coaches uh, to be in the game until the end of the year. I mean, they can make their choice. Because right, a lot of them probably would think, okay, a lot of the tournaments aren't having the coaches, so we're going to yeah. try to play without one as well. But yeah, I know, but you need a transition period. You oh, can't no, I'm just, just saying, you can't just push like, down people and say, but no more coaches. But I mean, in this situation, we have given them the choice. Yeah, they have, they have, they have choice. a choice. They can do what they want. Yeah, they can they can do what they want. Yeah. yeah, but I think that that allows them to naturally transition out of it. Some yeah, exactly, people may yeah. be lazy and not do it anyway, but then that's that will cause them more problems into the new yeah. year when people will be ahead of the curve in that respect. I think naturally we'll, we'll see a lot less of the coaches, I guess, but they have the well, choice at least. I, I, I hope we don't see less of coaches. I mean, less of them as in-game oh, oh, yeah. leaders. As, as IGLs, yeah. Coaches yeah. definitely needed. Much so we have the heroic T pistol, and they are very spread out. Two decoys over towards Ivy, but they do have a player holding an off-angle, which is uh, Valde. Now, um, we have a number of players over towards B. 
the bomb is around the pop dog, so it could split either way, perhaps depending on uh, where success is found by Heroic. Yeah, so just waiting to see if there's anything that Gosling will do. But generally speaking, on the CT pistol, you just you just sit still. JW is actually moving in, and he's going to get himself a kill as well. That's a big play there from JW. And that information of just seeing a player there doesn't really give him that much. I mean, he's always going to take the kill there. It's always Ooh. a nice little advantage. That headshot, though. Yeah. Down to 24. And he could... I don't, I don't know if you can even detect, because uh, it's pretty dark from Glaive's perspective, looking at Crims. So he may not realize that he headshot Crims there. Maybe he does. But I mean, he can go back to the well because he hasn't been touched. Although if he gets shot once in the head, he's done. Yeah. 40 seconds left. And uh, there's opportunity for Heroic towards B because of the health of Crims. And we have a very deep execute coming in. Look at that Molotov as well. Interesting, but they're not committing to it. It's a fake. The bomb's headed towards A, but JW's still already in waiting there. There is a flank coming in from Ivy, but it's going to be too late, it seems. JW goes down, though. So far, so good for the T's. Oh, wow. Just, whoa. <laughs> Every, in Never a, mind. In about one second, they all hit the ground. It would have been very sad as well had Glaive died when he was facing Crims because he ha actually had the Molotov and the smoke. I'm so. glad I'm not observing this game. <laughs> <laughs> because three three kills in one second. Good luck. Good luck uh, <laughs> catching that action. Heroic on the pistols, the smokes and the flashes. Score is 8 to 8. 8 plus 8 is 16. Learn that, guys. You may need that in the future. So what is the play? I would say what is the play from Heroic, but when you've got JW on Godsent, the question is what is the play from Godsent as well? JW perhaps ha has itchy feet. Again, he's moving slowly towards main. He stops now. I mean, I feel like the nice thing on Train is that it's a map where it is pretty easy to bomb rush yourself to at least a bomb plant on the B-bomb site. They have, of course, invested everything, so they really would love to win the round, but that that's obviously definitely a, not a thing that can work quite well. But Tech Nice, if you run him in anywhere with uh, with grenades, you are going to get some kills. Uh, Schneider by e -box. He's going to be the first one claiming a couple of lives there. Really capitalizing on the lack of helmets with that MP9. Perfect positioning for, for that. And in comes the flank. Not much you can really do against this. The bomb does go down at the very least. But I think Harak really would have wanted more than just one kill with that bomb plant. At least, at least two or three, I think, would have been, of course, ideal. But uh, they'll only get one, which is going to help out Godsend quite a lot, maintain and uh, maintain that integrity. I love a delayed defuse to allow your teammates to pick up resources, utility, weapons, etc. Get as much as you can, even flashbang. Just delay, delay that defuse and let your teammates just run over the bodies of the fallen opponent and see if there's anything to collect. I wonder if people delay defuses to put the kettle on and stuff. So excuse me, just just gonna to get the mince meat out. Uh, <laughs> Sometimes it requires a pause. Allegedly, who knows if it's true? I like yeah. to believe it is though. Yeah, I want to live in that world. A world where you're free to uh, prepare mince meat whenever you like. Exactly. Now we've got the a second attempt here by heroic to get something done. Of course, this time uh, this will actually be not a force buy, just. Pistols with not much else to, to help you out with uh, these pushes on. Flash, they will mess up that nade somewhat spectacularly, but it won't matter too much, I don't think. It's a shame, though. That could have been a money nade. Well, Crims has a lot of targets. Very patient with the spray there. Now going for the uh, full spray towards other people, and they will get peppered. Black stake by the Tech 9, and indeed, they will, all be, they will all be brazed, Dan, and there will be no plants. The brazing was true, it was complete, it was pure, it was pure brazing. Nice. So what do you have on your steak? You just just pepper? Um Yes. I like Bernays. I'm so. not uh I, I look at what they give me and then I'll make a decision based on that because I'm not a, a connoisseur of steak and I don't like to eat it too often. I like to go with your gut feeling. No, I just like to look at what they have because I don't know what to do. Oh, okay. It's not really gut feeling, it's just stupidity. So we have a, a solo player towards B in uh, Flusher playing the low ground. And in this situation, uh, it's always nice if you have an AWP around connector. On this occasion, JW's over towards Ivy, but if you have a connector AWP, he can look at the high ground as well. You see it sometimes from French teams, not necessarily as a default, but you do see it. JW would have hopefully seen the feet jumping over there, which is maybe why he has a tighter angle now. The trajectory of the nade will tell him everything he needs to know, and Glaive will present himself, Bosh. and he will be taken. 
Oh, I can't remember the, uh, what the actor's called. He saw us in that Taken movies. Otherwise, it could have come Liam Neeson. Yeah, Neeson. Oh, God, I felt like he set that up for me. I was like, what's his name? What's his name? I don't remember. Uh, there's so much potential there. I just ruined all of it. it sucks. I was thinking more about wildlife, actually. Oh, you were? There, there's that... Uh, so call that Twitter account, nature is brutal or something. Scary. Just showing, yeah, nature is scary, which I'm just looking at all the time. Yeah, that, that is amazing. Those mad gifts. Gifts for days. I'm waiting until they, the, you have the goats being dragged off the cliffs by eagles. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And dropped to, to their doom. Yeah, it feels like that should be every other day. <laughs> Retweets will be incoming. Well, it looks like we're going to have the first kill by Freeze there. Was trying to go for the pick, and we get the snap onto the bomb site now. The triple pronged attack, very, very hard to deal with as a CT from the CT's perspective. Although there is, I think, a flank coming from uh, Flush. Uh, he might be able to catch. Yeah, he's going to get Freeze, and everyone pops out from the, their angles all at once, leaving a few dead T bodies. Not much for Monty to do by Pop Dog. It was a great opening, a really great opening. But God sent when their back was against the wall there. They handled themselves very well. It has to be said, Modi's aim is pretty nasty. Yeah. In this in this game, he is ruining fools when he uh, when he sees them. He's not like setting the scoreboard ablaze, but just he's just. I mean, bearing in mind how long he's played the game for, it's nice to see him looking so sharp in that respect. Now, it's Godsend turn to have the double ops on the CT side. Heroic have five smoke grenades and two flashbangs. They need a bomb plant here. A bomb plant would be lovely. And they're going to be uh, working on that one now. All the grenades are coming in to block off the avenues. There's lots of spots, though, for Crimson Bird to spam. I love that he decides to go into CT Heaven there. He can, of course, get the angle over the smokes with the rifle advantage on the ranges, too. There's just not too much they can do. You can see he knows his angles there. Unable to actually stop the plant from going down. So that's a big win from Heroic. However, they are slowly but surely falling, and they are not able to get much damage whilst they are, d are doing that. So that's that. Well, that's also problematic because I feel like Godson have gotten a lot of rounds at this point where they've survived with a lot of people. I feel like their economy must be growing a lot. Interestingly, a lot of the players in that round on the T side, you 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 plant the bomb and you lose the round, you get eight hundred dollar bonus. But a lot of them spent eight hundred dollars in the first place, tech nine and a smoke grenade. So there's not much profit made in that particular round to help them buy in the following rounds. So pretty much, you know where you have the odd pot pistol and smoke bought, then you think the plant is worst case scenario, get some extra money in the bag, but there, I guess that's the worst case scenario to make your money back and then you want to win the round basically after that with yeah. Bedlam or maybe try and run away with a weapon perhaps. Either way, yeah, I think they are a, back on the buy. There's de definitely more points to be made there I think, but that's what you want to see from Freeze continuing his work. Freeze and his orb has so far been somewhat divine. The Lord's work, but who is the Lord? Maybe we'll find out. Maybe he will make himself known. That is a crap answer. I mean, you could have said like anything else. Like a person. Hamster, like a hamster. They even a hamster, yeah. <clears throat> Alright, well. That would have been fine. I'll learn that for next time. Actually, I was watching randomly a TV show yesterday. Um, it, well, I was watching it on, and it had Abu Hamza and Abu Hamster. Man advantage for Godsent. Double orps. I'll tweet that actually so you can see that if it's of interest to you. The A site is kind of in Heroic's hands at the moment, but it soon won't be because they don't have the numbers advantage and Godsent have them split in half with the positioning of Flusher and JW. One orp on both ends of the site is going to be brutal. There it begins. Got a play coming in from Connector as well, and uh, Crims will go past Flusher to make this an even tighter net. Very hard for Heroic. Four versus two situation. Down goes Snappy. Freeze alone. If he does this, it will be something special. Molotov's delivered a place. He's going to get smoked off as well. And he has little choice but to back off. And get out of there. That's, that sucks. Gonna cut your losses. Full back. Nothing you can do. But this round, maybe they can do something. Can they get Freeze into a forward position again for those early picks? They're going to have to get those sooner rather than later because they are running out of rounds at this point. Godson are getting quite close. And they've been happily running that double up set up on JW and Flusher for quite some time now, and it has provided or been quite effective. The efficacy is unquestionable. We're going to get the nades in here by, by Heroic to cut off some of those angles and avenues, but actually, it's a smoke screen. Quite literally, they're actually going for the B play, and there's a fantastic pick on the Flusher. They should be able to do this. They can just get this push up the yard to work out. 
Molly's flash is coming in. Can Godsent get back into the map? Molly's not going to allow them to say yes. Schneider gets taken down. Lots of spray coming in as well. They are forced to retreat. Five versus three, and it's pretty much a save from the situation. They have been completely choked off the choke point. Spotted making their exit as well. And perhaps they'll get hunted. This Snappy will get taken down. We'll see if uh, Heroic will opt for their own money management. But Freeze is charging forward, and he's alone with his orb. So, I mean, he could potentially lose this, and then we'll see what happens. His legs will show, and indeed, the AWP will be lost. And now things get too expensive for Heroic. Modi's picked one else elsewhere, it seems, actually. So perhaps uh, things can be rescued yet. That was quite cool, actually, that fake, because that straight up worked. It's uh, not every time I see I see a team's run that fake as well. It's not very often, that is. So quite cool to see that working just off the bat. God said we're not expecting that. And and train, like many maps, of course, you could you could say this about, I suppose. It, it tends to come down to conditioning your opponent into the kind of strategies that you'll you'll run. So fakes work best when you've shown the regular rounds, like let's say that setup, but you go in with the smokes. You've shown that, you know, had a few times, and then you throw in the fake when it really counts. And Freeze, he's doing it again. He's getting himself into that forward position and getting the frag. He's managed to work his way out of there. Pranax will actually be able to spot him just for the time being, but it looks like Freeze is playing this very passively now, which I like. He's going back, though. Snyder's on the high ground, picks up the orb, and he will take away the kill. Two orbs continue for God's sake, but the execute's coming in to be bomb site. Nades and counter nades onto both sides. Flushes trying to find an opening, waiting for somebody to cross. But he can try and hold the high ground while he has that smoke. I wonder if that's deliberate. I'm assuming it is. And just half cover his teammate. Can't cover the deep low ground below him. There goes Schneider. So three versus three. This is a really brutal map between these two sides. Yeah. Grims gets taken down. Man advantage now. Pranax coming in from the back. It's going to be hard for Flusher to get frags from this point. But he won't win the duel with Pranax there. So now we're down to the two versus two. No Molotovs on the T side. They were going to have to protect this with uh, AKs only. Smokes go down, and so does Glaive. So uh, now valde has been spotted, and he's out of position. Pranax is on the bomb, and he doesn't need to let go of this. I don't know if Val can get there in time. He's got no nades to help him either. And indeed, the round will be stolen wow. by Pronax due to uh, Valde's posi positioning. And that his sucks. teammate going down above the bomb. So heroic. After that effort, which was, I, I'm not going to say it, but it was good. It was a, a very it solid was, effort. It was a considered effort. It was considered, yeah. It was Herculean, in fact. Herculean okay, that's effort. A, that's a very bold statement you're making there, Dan. I, I just want to... I'm not going anyway. to dispute it. But. So uh, the, <laughs> the point, obviously, now is that uh, they're going to feel like something's been stolen. And they have been relying on, on Freeze a lot. And it's actually great to see Freeze playing so well with Heroic as he has been. Because in previous lineups with Freeze, I always felt like he just was very flat, never the, never, I mean, he carried a lot of name value, a lot of name value from the 1.6 days, but just never quite lived up to that in CSGO. If he continues to perform like he's been doing in this map and on this team, then maybe we'll see a new side of him, which would be fantastic. Maybe he's just happier with these, these guys. But speaking of <coughs> which, Pranax might be assaulting his position very, very soon, looking for information. I don't think there's going to be a pop flash or anything for Pranax to go with. He might just settle on this forward position Eventually, there's going to come a timing, though, on the clock where God sent the product will feel like, okay, this is the kind of timing we expect Heroic to do something. So this is, that's a spot where you can throw preemptive flashes and so on. But it seems like it is time to go here onto the yard from Heroic. JW on the high ground. He's waiting for somebody to peek. Freeze doing the same. He's going to lose. Trying to JW go down. Now it's a four versus two. Man, the frags go back and forth between these sides so quickly. Flush us, staying alive for the time being. They know where he is. The bomb's down, though. Now these team these players need to try and trade. I'm not sure if they, I'm not sure if they can hear Flusher from their position. He has got the hell out of dodge, and the bomb it seems will be slowly, slowly collected. Being very careful about it, meticulous. Flusher throwing a smoke grenade, which will seem to come out of nowhere. Although they seem to realise where it is. In fact, but he's going to pre-aim the angles. Although he will have now no idea where Modi is. And the problem is, Flusher, he can't really scope back in again. So he's at a significant disadvantage because Modi will know exactly where he is. Modi's above him, in fact, and there it is. The end of the round. Heroic staying alive. God sent only two rounds away from this map. This is what's so cool about this matchup and, and both of these teams, is that individually you can see just 
I mean, it doesn't matter, like, strategically, tactically, you know, what maybe what the econ economic situation is. Sometimes one of these players from either team can just find themselves in one of those, those weird, awkward, or, or hard to play from spots, and they're just going to surprise you because they have so much skill. And right there, you know, we saw Valde opening things up very, very effectively. Somebody from Heroic is often able to, you know, pull something out of the bag here. But God sent just that little bit ahead. Will it continue? Will Heroic be able to salvage something here? We've got a nice two-man setup here on Ali. And JW, for the shot, misses the flick. I'm not sure if he had much to work with there. Good cover, actually, from Valde to make that jump across safe. And that's going to push JW slightly out of position. Interesting work there from Heroic. They're now going to leave completely abandon Ali and set up for the push. This is really smart, actually, because now Godsent will th be thinking, we need to have men there. But in reality, all that Heroic have done is they forced Godsent from not being able to play far up the yard now, which is very smart if they're going for that yard push. Reasonable amount of nades onto both sides at present. So there's still time to execute and counter grenades from the CT side. But really, it's all about the jewels at the moment. JW will spot many people over towards main. He can raise the alarm for his teammates. Already four people on the A side. They're going to hold steadfast. Flusher just holding passively towards B just in case. Heroic closing the angles. Now you've got the variants of all these smokes on the A side. Everybody running around, not seeing anybody. Schneider, not much you can do in that situation. Down goes Crims as well. So it seems Heroic can get some more rounds of the board just here. Nothing but variants. People playing around the smoke, smoke disappearing. Right place, right time, in comes the frag. Four versus two. Snappy holding an angle on Pronax. Not much they can do at this moment. God sent, two versus four. Shoulders being caught, and that's enough for Snappy to take down Pronax. Tough times for uh, Godsent. Almost said Fnatic there. Wonder when that's gonna. I'm gonna get used to that. Seeing Flusher's name and not directly associating him with Fnatic. The long tenure that he had on that team, and uh, trying to get something done here, but he's gonna get caught by Modi. Very, very difficult position to be in on one of the hardest sites, if not the hardest, to retake in the game <coughs> after, uh, after the T's have uh, set up their post -point positions. And uh, now just three rounds away from equalizing, and God sense money's not too good, so they're not going to be able to put up too much resistance in some of these uh, in the next couple rounds. So we're have a real in now. But as you said, they have been relying on a lot of, essentially, spots where they will be playing in variants the chaos of the yard. What's the nature of train as well when you have all those nades coming in? People, you know, train uh, ships passing in the night through a smoke grenade. One person turns around, other person dies. Three rounds now between these two sides. God sent have lost. Uh, I wonder if they're on maximum loss bonus this year. Flusher spotted on the site. Now they will slowly move in. I, I have a gimmick on this uh, on this site. If you stand in on the train itself in the middle, and then when they come into plant, just throw a smoke and try to run in the smoke and uh, try to knife people, right? Well, you can try to knife people if you're if you're just trolling, or try to defuse it. Which like, now you have the beep, it's going to be a lot harder. And yeah, they try to it seems Valve try to do away with uh, ninja defuses and stolen rounds. They want you to earn the rounds. <laughs> If you manage to ninja, I feel like you earn it. Yeah, like I mean, we've seen some absurd ones, especially yeah. E-League, I think it was Crimson yeah, yeah, yeah. over on Mirage B. Well, two rounds between these two sides and God sent it back with two orps against one orp on the T side. Although all three of these orps are uh, seemingly equally as dangerous. Yes, they oh, are. Oh, no, they haven't. they got one orp. What, what am I talking about? I misread the screen somehow. Orps are indeed dangerous. That's all I have to say. Great. So we have uh, Heroic have some utility. You know, they've thrown out some initial grenades, maybe trying to waste the utility of Godsend. But Godsend still have a fair fair amount of kit in the bank to work in with. The bank. And they have, uh, they're, they're deeper towards the back of A at the moment. Two players near Collector for Godsend and two players over towards Ivy, which can potentially let them wrap around uh, the site on A, should it be required. But they're moving more aggressive again. So it seems they're trying to read what Heroic have to offer them. But because Schneider, he's checking every uh, corner of the map. Maybe a bit paranoid, but maybe that's because of Freeze. I mean, he has been running up into these corners and uh, shooting people when they peek and so on. So he wants to make sure there are no nasty surprises. Modi opting for potentially a fake because we have players moving towards B now on the high and low ground. They saw somebody towards main, which is uh, Valde. I think he's actually above it. Flusher though, 
can raise your life to his teammates. That's a very nice grade indeed. Doing great work here. Two kills for him. Two for one trade. That is favorable for his team. Jilo's got a nice position and he's going to catch Modi. Very good catch indeed as he progresses forwards. Closer and closer. And his teammates are with him as well. He's got a nice flank set up too. Snappy and Val, they have a lot of work on their hands. Just Snappy now. That's not the way to start it off and he will die. And Godsent will quickly reclaim control. Another round. Game points. And now just one away from taking map one. And these teams stand to gain three points if they win both of their word of their maps of the maps that they play against one another. But if they only win one map, they only get one point. So that's how this rolls. So it's very much in the interest, especially in this matchup, because I, I would say, you know, Godson and Heroic are probably two of the most competitive teams. It's, you know, how I, uh, how I feel about it uh, in, in the eight teams that we have. Which we can always look at, look at again later on, I think. Double up, James. Or Ooh. Doppio, they would say, in Italian. JW will start things off well. Oh, that would have been criminal. Look at the confidence here. Oh, Glaive. Oh, he's going to survive for now. We've seen JW do things from this position, but this time he has Pronax in for help. That smoke is going to come out just in time, but he's going to jump and get ruined by Valde. That's the, what the hell's going on, Dan? Fun position. in the sun. Yeah, it is. Fun in the sun there for JW. <laughs> There's man advantage for God's sense. Still lots of Molotovs on the uh, on the map at present. Six, in fact, make it five. So God sent with three people to stop themselves from losing the first map. What can they do? Well, throw a flash and pray for the best. Flash works, but. Valde, it, oh, I think you can see on them. Oh, no. Valde could have taken them both down. He's going to finally find Pronax. And Modi's going to open things up from Popdog. So, hey, it's going to work out anyway. But they're still 2v2. Health is a disadvantage. 35 seconds on the clock to play with. And the bomb needs to be recollected. So, God sent. They are in a fantastic position. Crimson now, he will win his fight. Nice positioning, forcing Valde to chase him then cutting him down with the AK. Looks too easy here for Godsent. 16-12. They will take map one. Yeah, he saw a nice bit of baiting from Crims. And there was a chance he could have got a headshot there, which would have been a problem. But uh, it was all about Flusher. He was holding the angle with the AWP. Welcome back. I've raised my screen now. So my screen is higher than yours. As I am higher than you, I thought it was only fair. So, uh, I mean, that was that was a really interesting first map. Lots of dueling going on. Pretty crazy. Not your, not your standard train, I would say. And now we go on to the second map, which I don't know what it is. What is it, producer Patrick? Quick, 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 come on. People are waiting. He's over there. Yeah, he's right, right over there. Do you think we should show his face on the, on the camera at some point? Or should no. they forever be mysterious? No. They should all remain mysterious. Uh, yeah, disembodied voice. It's been a while since we casted in gaming chairs. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I like the stools, man. Nah, it's gonna be I a like long, stools. A long evening. You hate the stalls. I love stalls. Do you? I'm a stall man. Overpass. Awesome. Overpass is the next map. You like you like the stalls. Yeah. So do I. Love a good stall. Um, we could do what? Okay. We, apparently we're okay. going to commercial. That's great. I like how. I mean, we could do this more professionally, but I really don't want to. I yeah. prefer to just shout at him where you can't see him. It's more fun. We'll yeah. see you after the break.